Yes, traditionally the European Union liked to think that it was particularly influential in its southern neighborhood and uh, we had the Barcelona process starting in 1995 and later the Union for the Mediterranean. But frankly, in the last two years, in the wake of events in uh, Tunisia, Libya, um, Egypt, in particular Egypt nowadays and also most recently Syria, I think we've come to realize that the European Union didn't really have a particularly effective strategy uh, towards the region. Perhaps it was because we tried to apply a one-size-fits-all policy towards a lot of these countries and instead of dealing with them uh, more bilaterally or perhaps on the strengths of their own uh, in domestic situations. But whatever the case, we have discovered uh, to some extent with, with, with a degree of surprise and alarm uh, that we weren't as influential in the region as we thought we were. The question now is, is how, do we, how do we deal? How do we engage with a lot of these societies? Uh, do we continue to put the emphasis on democracy promotion and um, peaceful regime change? Or do we settle for second best? Do we simply put the emphasis on perhaps rule of law uh, and, and minimum standards? And this is one of the great European dilemmas of, of today. And as far as Syria is concerned, of course, once again, the use of force has divided the European Union uh, member states. We don't really have a common position on the legitimacy of the use of force. So sadly, uh, this takes us back to the very divisive um, debates that we went through during the Iraq war.